Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on LaTeX programming. Now, um, in today's tutorial, I'll be explaining you guys uh, an important concept. Um, it's it's not relevant to LaTeX, but it kind of it's kind of relevant to you guys on a, you know on a day-to-day -day basis if you're working with LaTeX. Okay, this concept is called as uh, memory. Now. In my previous tutorial, in the beginning, uh, b before I started with the citation and cross-referencing uh, part, I explained something about memory in PDF. Uh, that kind of went down not so good, uh, not so good. So I thought of explaining this separately and in a much more clean manner. Okay. Now, what I've done here is that I just have I've made a file over here. Okay, call us memory in your PDF viewers and I've just written my name like hello, my name is Aaron again and again and again. Reason? No big reason because I don't have I didn't have anything uh, relevant to type, so just wrote that and copy pasted up. Doesn't matter. I'll just explain what exactly <coughs> um, what exactly the com uh, memory means in this example. So what I've done here is that I've just taken uh I just made a file. The thing is I've opened this in Tech Studio. Now, all this time we are working with TechMaker, okay? And for the past two, two or three tutor few tutorials, we looked at how to do this option in um, shell. How to do this option from the shell or from the terminal. Yes, now I'm just uh, giving you guys a glimpse of how Tech Studio works like. It's kind of simple. It's kind of similar to how TechMaker looks like and it has all the features uh, it, it has all the features like say just like tech, your tech editor you have the editing option over here the log bo the message box and everything comes over here and uh, and if you want the bold and sorry and if you want the symbols and stuff all of them are here if you want the symbols and everything all of them are here and uh, similarly just like your t t tech studio you have your wizard bibliography bibliography reference help macros and several other stuff over here that kind of becomes useful and what to work with okay so this is kind of an alternative uh, option for la tech tech maker okay so if you guys are want to do uh, if you guys are doing this for an entire series in tech studio don't worry it's all it's equivalently good uh, tech uh, edit, uh, editor uh, editor for latex so not a problem I kind of use both because both of them have certain features that can be you know used alternatively and like that don't worry about it okay now the thing is now if i were to compile open the same file in tech studio and compile it okay what happens is that what wherever correction what just note what happens let me make a correction somewhere at the bottom here now instead of my name is Arno, instead of this i just write my name is uh, nick my name is Nick. Okay, just just to make sure that uh, it's four letters as that of it. Uh, if I compile this, now you see what happened. You, you just see what happened over here. I was I was in page number one, and if I just change this to some other name that's in four letters, like for instance rice. Let me change this in four letters. I look look just what happens. The PDF viewer. I am in the first page, okay. I made a correction, and when I build it, build it, it automatically goes to page number two, okay. And if I were to look somewhere uh, in this page over here, this is where the correction has been made. If you guys can't, let me zoom it up for you. You see this part over here? Um, sorry. You see this part over here where my cursor is that's where the correction has been made uh, my name is rice and so in, in this uh, in this entire hello my name is Aaron mantra kind of a thing I've written everything here the correction has been made here but thing to notice is that it changes pages uh, that's one good thing about TechMaker and if you look at the same um, tech studio okay this is a warning just saying that uh, uh, the file has been modified by another application undo would just uh, discard the okay and you want to keep it up to date yes it just says that uh, the file has been tampered by some other program so if you want to undo that or you want to update by reloading the file just said yes so that it up updates okay now if I were to compile this 
it still goes to uh, even this uh, uh, viewer goes to the second page even though I'm looking at first page we compile this it goes to the second page because that's where the correction turned out to be. Now, if I were to go out and go somewhere at the bottom and correct this part, this part to be something like my name is uh, uh, Lizzie. This is in the last page. Now, check it out. If I compile this, uh, it go uh, compile this and build this. It didn't go. It didn't go anywhere. I guess it just stayed in the last page. It just stayed in the same page where we looked at. But X Studio, I guess. Uh, the problem is he didn't accept that issue. I guess. Anyway, I'll just change it. Yeah, I just work. I just work with this one. I'll just change this to Lizzie. Just a random name to compile this. You see this part? It 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 stayed in two. It stayed in page number two as it is, but did not move or change to the. The last uh, last position where that's where the changes has the changes was made. Reason it's because of something called as memory. Now what does this memory mean is that you when your PDF viewers have a memory of which page was viewed last lastly, okay, and which position was that change made lastly, and uh, just keeps there and just read uh, retains there. For instance, uh, this PDF over here. What I do is that now I'm in page now I'm in page number one. Let me go to page number three. Let me go to page number three. At the end of page number three, and if I close it, close it, and I open this back. You see, it's still it's back in page number three. Instead of opening page number one, it's still back in page number three. Okay. Now uh, you might ask me why is it instead of opening from first? Why is it like that? That's because some of the inbuilt uh, commanding features in uh, the operating system or the program or anything because of that okay wherever you made the last view that page will be retained as a memory in your program like tech studio or tech maker or everything so if you were to make some corrections or if you were to uh, uh, make some corrections okay sometime the, the sometimes the place where the correction has been made will be pop will be pop popping up in front of you sometimes it will just uh, go to some other place or from the beginning or from the last place you viewed the document it will going to it will going to move to that part okay it, uh, some okay this is what i mean by memory okay now this is uh, this is not that much of a uh, very serious topic but the thing is once you uh, if you have a large number of documents or files to analyze and un analyze and uh, write and compile and everything in LaTeX okay what happens is that uh, sometimes uh, uh, your PDF viewers have an annoying habit wherein you might have had like 15 chapters or 10 chapters not even 15 just like four or five chapters combined into it and you just compile it automatically what happens instead of uh, some uh, video viewers which does not have memory they just always go to the first page and keep it and instead of making instead of showing you the corrections where it's happened you just have to uh, to see where the, whether you the corrections you made came out nicely or not you just have to scroll down all the way to the all the way to the place where the correction has happened and then you have to see then and then you have to see so the memory part does not work uh, in certain compilers I mean in certain PDF viewers so my suggestion is that well, my suggestion is that uh, if you're working with if you're working with the terminal from the terminal or, or any or from the terminal and a normal text editor have a good PDF viewer that kind of has this memory retention stuff so that it remembers which page you will lastly work on and which page the updations are being made okay that will be really useful for really useful on a day on a day to day basis for these kind of stuff so that will be really useful just have a look at that other than that it's nothing but nothing big okay that's nothing technical into it so don't uh, nothing technical into it so that's about that's about this part okay and uh, with that this tutorial is over uh, in the next tutorial we'll be talking about uh, some simple leftover left some simple leftover topics uh, in lat in latex okay um, some simple leftover topics in LaTeX. 
regarding regarding sub regarding pages and how to get some input uh, how to get some input and output and all okay and uh, and a few more topics and after that our series with this series will get over okay thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time so take care then bye